Hi guys, welcome back to Gary Tech with me Darren. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the engine or coolant temperature sensor. Now this is a three part um, episode and I'm going to talk to you about what the actual coolant temperature sensor is, uh, how it actually works. And then on the last episode, I'll take you through how you can actually diagnose and test the coolant temperature sensor and the system if you've got any issues or problems. So I suppose first up, um, what this actual temperature sensor is called and the name of it, there are a couple of different names that you might hear bouncing around. So you might hear engine temperature sensor, you might hear water temperature sensor, and then there's the coolant temperature sensor. So coolant temperature sensor is actually the technical term for it, but yes, it does sit uh, up here in your engine um, and it does uh, sit contacting your coolant or your water. Now, obviously your water in your engine is known as a coolant and the coolant is there to do kind of two jobs really. Uh, one is to stop the engine from freezing uh, if you're in real cold climate and conditions. And then the other element of that then is to try and avoid any uh, corrosion that could build up uh, inside your engine. So we all, although we talk about the engine temperature, it's actually taking the temperature of the coolant uh, which runs through and around uh, the cylinder head, particularly in that area where your piston is, um, because that's where the most amount of heat is. So obviously that water then is taken off to the front of the car through to the radiators to cool the water down, then it's pumped back through to the engine to try and keep the engine nice and cool. So the coolant temperature sensor takes a signal from there inside the engine, it goes off to your engine ECU, that converts that into another message which then comes up to your dash display as to what you'll see uh, in the car and then it displays that then up on the dash so you'll probably see a symbol similar to that up there and then you'll have a gauge whether that's a digital or an analog gauge. So with this signal and information the engine ECU can help regulate the temperature uh, of the engine so a lot of modern vehicles now will have some uh, electric uh, coolant pumps as well as obviously the, the main coolant pump that's driven uh, from the engine but also whilst it's monitoring and regulating that coolant temperature it's also regulating the fuel and ignition timing so imagine when obviously you start your engine from cold it needs to use a lot more fuel to actually uh, run the engine because of the air to fuel ratio and mixture also then helps to regulate the ignition timing and also regulate the emissions. The optimal operating temperature for the engine is around 85 to 95 degrees C because that is the best uh, temperature for your fuel to air uh, combustion. So that's the optimal operating temperature and of course that will be displayed on your dash and of course once the engine, if it starts to get too hot, then you'll get a warning on your dash to tell you that your engine uh, temperature is too hot. So that's what this sensor is actually doing. As I mentioned, it is located on what's known as the engine side of the thermostat. So that's before the thermostat. We want this temperature sensor to be as close to uh, the engine as possible. Now, they're sometimes uh, located into the actual block, but majority of engines have some form of um, generally a plastic um, housing that sits somewhere on the side of the block, um, which then this plugs into and it's typically like these ones are just held in by a little plastic clip um, and, and that's it. So they're generally they're quite easy to change uh, if they do go wrong. Looking at the actual end of the coolant temperature sensor you can see it's got this brass um, end to it. Now this kind of brass end has a uh, semiconductor inside and inside here then is basically what is known as a thermistor which is basically a variable resistor. So as the temperature goes up, the resistance value in here starts to go down. That's what the engine ECU is measuring and it takes that signal and information and then sends it over uh, to the dash. So that's end of part one. That gives you a very brief introduction as to what the coolant temperature sensor is. Uh, let's go check out episode two and I'll tell you a little bit more detail in actually how this works in more detail. Okay, thanks guys. See you on the next part.